everyone, so the look that I'm going for today is called Bleeding Love. The reason why is because I'm using Glamour Draw Eyes eyeshadows and this is an eyeshadow that's called Bleeding Love. And it looks like this. It's a pretty pink um, eyeshadow. And it looks like this. I have it on the outer corners of my eye and it's gorgeous. I love this color a lot. It's very nice. So I'm using this. And also I kind of um, went to the theme of Bleeding Love. I use Boyfriend Sweater, which is a very pretty brown color, which I have in the inner corners, and um, I love this color a lot. And then I use Disco White, also from Glamour Dry Eyes Cosmetics, and I have it as a highlight and a little bit to the inner corners, like kind of close to my tear duct. So, yes, if you guys are interested to see how I created this look, please keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a primer. This is e.l.f. Mineral Eyeshadow Primer and I'm just going to apply that on my lid up to my brow bone and a little bit on my lower lash line. And then blend everything. Next I went ahead and I applied a base color which is this white, this is Milk. I departed mine from NYC Jumbo Pencil. And I'm just going to apply that just um, on my eyelid and just blending it upwards to my brow bone. Then I took Boyfriend Sweater from Glamador Eyes Cosmetics and I took this with a shader brush from the Eco Friendly. I went ahead and I applied it right there, kind of halfway of my lid. I would recommend you to start light then go ahead and build up your color. What I did here is I outlined, I did all my pretty pink color on and then I went ahead with the brown and just made it a bit darker but till now this is okay. Just start off with this and then you can go ahead and um, put your pink also um, apply more pink and then go ahead with the brown and make it darker. Then I took a blending brush like this one here. This is from the um, Natural Beauty um, Contouring Eye Brush. And then I took Bleeding Love, also from Glamour Eyes Cosmetics, which looks like this. And what I did is I tried to put it on the crease. I also brought it to toward the tear duct, and I also kind of winged it out right here, and I also blended it toward the brow bone. And also what's going to help me to blend it that m that well is I'm going to be using Disco White, which is kind of a highlight color, also from Glamour Eyes, which is, looks like this. It has blue iridescence, but the blue doesn't really bother me. And, uh, yeah, so this is what it looks like. I really, really like how um, this whole color combination went through. It's really nice. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that Bleeding Love and I'm going to start to apply it on the crease and I'm going to start out very light and then go ahead and build up my color. And how I created this wing is I went with my water li waterline right here and it goes up so I just followed that line by itself if you want if you're not comfortable you can go ahead and apply tape but I just didn't apply tape because I just went with um, the light that I could already see and now I'm going to start to build up that pink Now I'm just going to clean the same brush that I was, I was using and I'm just going ahead and I'm just going to blend it just to not make it look harsh, just like that. And then you can go ahead with Boyfriend Sweater again and I'm just going to take the same shading brush that I used with from the Eco Friendly one, it looks like this. And I'm just going to take Boyfriend Sweater again. And I'm just going ahead and just dabbing it on top of it. And you also want to make sure to blend it with Bleeding Love.
I'm just going to build up the bleeding glove just a little bit more. I'm going to take a big fluffy brush. Well, I have a big eyeshadow fluffy brush, and this is from the Lancome one. And I'm just going to take Disco White, also from Glamour Eyes, and I'm going to apply that as a highlight color. And I'm also going to bring it a little bit toward the tear duct. And also, I'm just going to put it right there, just to clean up the harsh line. Now for the lower lash line, I'm going to take my angle brush from Eco Friendly and Mac Studio Fix because I will be transforming Boyfriend's Watertone Eyeliner as you can see down here and also a little bit with that bleeding love in the inner corners. So I'm just going ahead and just spraying my brush. And I'm just going ahead and I'm going to line my lower lash line. And then with the same brush, I'm just going to take Bleeding Glove, which is the pink, um, pink reddish color that I applied there. And I'm just going to apply that in the inner corners. And I'm also going to bring that all over the eye, all over that brown. Now I'm just going to take a small pencil brush from Lancome. And I'm just going to blend all of this. Now I'm just going to take a black liquid liner and I'm just going to hand and lining my upper lash line. Um, I also kind of tried to wing it um, at the end here. So I'm going ahead and doing that and I'll be right back. So I have my black liquid liner on and now I'm just going ahead and applying a little coat of mascara. And this is the Maybelline Great Lash Black is Black Mascara just going to apply it very lightly to my upper lashes a lot on my lower lashes I'm just going ahead and applying Ardell Fashion Lashes and this is um, 134 in black and I already did a video on how I apply lashes and I also did, already did a video on how I apply liquid eyeliner so you could go ahead and check these out so I'm just going ahead and applying the lashes and I'll be right back so the lashes is on and now I'm just going ahead with black eyeliner and this is the Natural Beauty's black eyeliner and I just applied it to my waterline on the bottom and on the upper waterline eyebrows I already did that with my Loric eyebrow kit in brunette and I took the lightest shade in here which is that one and I kind of see the pan which is bad for my cheeks I went ahead and I applied this one and then I realized that I wasn't recording so I just took MAC peaches and with a little blush brush like this one it's very nice it's um little it's very nice for a blush brush so I just took MAC Peaches and I applied that on the apples of my cheeks and I kind of brought it all the way up there. Then for lips, I took uh, from the Li uh, Liberty of London from the MAC collection and this one's called Ever Hip and it's a pretty peachy pink color. Um, for me it's kind of a nude color. But it's very nice though. I'm just going to mix in a little bit of Honey Love in there. So this is the finished product and I really really like it. It's something different, fun to do and um, I would wear this for a party. <laughs> it's very nice. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching and if you want to give it a try post as a video response to this video and that would be really interesting to see. So I'll talk to you later guys. Bye!